for the show. It's going to be awesome and it is a gorgeous day. Check this out man, fall colors. That's awesome. So today's Thursday, we're heading up to get set up. So we're good to go for the morning. Uh, but we'll be here Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So hopefully we'll see some of you lads and uh, yeah. Yeah, and I always uh, I get excited for this because the new products, boys. I love seeing the new products, so this is a great first-hand way to, to get in on that. And uh, new bikes, new 2020s. Take a look at everything. It's a lot of fun. So yeah, right on, boys. We'll see you in a bit. First touch of traffic jam, boys. As soon as you get close to Toronto, well, you can bank on it. Damn city drivers. <laughs> If she was a freeway at Can Ams, we wouldn't have this issue. We'd just uh, go around with me. All right, we'll be back. I'm almost there, Trev. Just traffic jams. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I was I just letting you know. Um, so when you come around, it's uh, entrance five. Okay. And then um, they're going to ask you when you get here. You'll probably still see the trailer, or maybe even the Dirty Life Razor. Um, but our booth is 2316. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm going to let you go. I might miss my jump here. GP. No worries. Go ahead. Arrive at the International Center. We're here. She's the day before the International Power Sports Show, boys, in Toronto. And uh, we're hauling all the goods in. We got the bike in, we got the razor in, we got the sled in, and a boatload of goodies. Holy crap, Trevor brought a lot of stock, so I hope you boys are ready to shop. Booth is huge. What's going on, boys? It's the second day into the show. We didn't do any filming yesterday because it was a little thinned out. We're getting set up on Friday and trying to get in tune with what's going on, right? So I haven't even made a full round of this place yet. We got our dirty light booth just over yonder, but I'm walking by the Honda exhibit here and we're looking at the brand new Foreman Rubicon and I'm not the only one looking at it now. This lad's attracted to her too. She's got a beautiful color, doesn't she? Hey, it actually turned out really nice. Yeah. yeah. Mint green. Mint green, is that what they're calling it? Yeah, mint green. Oh yeah, check this out. That's like map, uh, what do you call that, topographical? Is that what they call that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Didn't side. even notice that. Yeah. That's pretty cool. A little accented in the decals. You got one bucket, two buckets. Looks like yeah. it. Looks like it. No, access to the radiator. All right. Machine metallic. Machine metallic. Oh, she looked minty to me. Yeah. <laughs> we got Ram Canada. Ram.ca right here, man. There's our rebel. She's a rebel, all right. And I think she comes with the big screen. Sure does, just like the one we got from Thompson's. That's killer, man. Beautiful truck, but look at this. Now that is a sweet machine. Turbo diesel, 6.7 liter. What a mammoth machine, man. Look at the interior. Full package, eh? Yeah, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Nice truck, brother. You gonna buy her? You gonna get her? You look good in it, bud. All I need is a checkbook. Yeah, no kidding. What is the MSRP on one? I would probably have to say over 100. But the, yeah, this limited is really nice. Super nice. Dude. Yeah, I'm just gabbing away. 
We got ourselves an iced tea in there, Laramie edition. That's beautiful. Yeah, iced tea make me happy. And she ain't brisk, baby. I just film and then I just edit and cut out whatever the hell I want. Like I probably cut that out, but you know what I mean? We're sitting here, boys, at the Toronto International Power Sports Show. And uh, I just stopped in to drop in, check out the boys' MBRP booth. And I recognize this bike. It's uh, Nathan. It was it Nathan? Yeah, Nathan. Yeah, I just met him. Super cool guy. Got a little Instagram there called Camaflu. And uh, this is his Outlander, but it's equipped with an MBRP exhaust system. Sorry, my man. And you guys are familiar with these because uh, we got a couple of the boys running them. Phil's got them on the RS1. They sound super sick on the RS1. But Definitely, yeah. Uh, yeah, man. It. Cool. Honest, it's actually uh, a 304 stainless body. Yep. So you're not going to scratch or anything like that. You can easily polish it. There's no coating to flake off. Yep. Uh, real cool, th cool thing is a uh, five inch body again, like I said. So it has a good sound, but it's not like, crazy loud, which is nice too. So. Yeah, no, I like them. They sound really, really nice on the Polaris's. I haven't got to hear too many of them on the Can Ams. Um, um, and a friend of ours, uh, my actually good friend there, Nos Boss, just uh, added one to his son's Outlander. So I'm looking forward to getting the footage on a regular basis and getting a good long term review style yeah, no, look absolutely. at them, right? So, yeah. And like the cool and key thing is we don't actually need a programmer for this too because we don't build a screw yep. design. It's got a nice back pressure, still a pull over yep. spot. Um, but you know, again, it gives it that you know, known performance and that's a huge asset too boys because now you don't got to buy that four or five hundred dollar fuel programmer and uh, I don't believe that these exhaust systems are are out of this world in pricing they're really comparable to what everybody's offering at these high quality systems right exactly, yeah you know, right on five six hundred dollars yeah exactly bucks, yeah. right on par with with uh, with market prices so you're saving you're saving yourself at least three to four hundred dollars on your tuner right there yeah, that's cool big time Awesome, man. Yeah. Check this out, boys. The boys are ripping some virtual reality sleds. That is killer. Mount Wild, man. She's apparel over here. Ride 50, 509, eh? Right on. Cool. Actually, I got a little, little, uh, a little treat in store for you boys when I get back to uh, Kingston. We just uh, we received a little something in this this sort of I don't know apparel way, you know, a new lid. We're rocking a new lid, boys. You're gonna see it right soon. Royal Distributing. Got all the distributors here, boys. <laughs> Whoa, well, there's a CF Moto booth. Okay, so that's the C Force 800. That's your basically your last year's model. 1,000, 1,500. This is it. I think it's the same one we saw in the crate, boys in Quebec. She's the 1,000 C Force outside of the crate. I saw it in the crate, not assembled. This is the first time I've seen it. What can you tell us about it, Fowler? Well, what do you want to know? Well, everything. Well, it's got a uh, five-year warranty on it. It does, and that's yeah. one of the best parts. It's got, and and it's I see... It's, too, a, like, it's like an Elka Shock. It's, it's like an Elka Shock. Yeah. This one's not the same as the mud concept that we took a look at, that they no. had the Elkas yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it's a different name. Yeah. So they just designed, that's that same pipe, that's the design pipe, so that's sort of like a performance exhaust system there, a little bit. Because they come in a stage one, two, three, four, right? Right. Stag wheels. There's your access, your bat, oh, that's not bad at all. Like Polaris though, so when you rad relocate this, you're gonna have to uh, relocate your battery. I wonder if the boys did that in Boy Quebec. How did they deal with that problem? I like the bumpers. I like how they've got these little little grills here to uh, protect lights from. It's pretty neat. Yeah, I remember. It's basically the exact same bike that uh, we were looking at uncrated. They went powder coated all the suspension components to the gray, which is pretty cool. Basically the same color as the scat pack we were just driving, which is very cool. Uh, CV tech in the clutch. 
That's great. So you're going to get good engagement. Really be interested in trying out the 1000, boys. What else do they got? Look how tiny that thing is. 800. That'll boot you through the trail, though, pretty quick, I bet. All the white suspension. I like how they're doing the two-tone effects like that. It looks pretty sharp. I wonder if CV Tech does the clutching on these as well. It doesn't say. Does it say here? No, we're not talking about the clutching at all. A 14.5, eh? Pretty cool, another 500 on tracks. We probably got another 800 or maybe 1,000 with a few accessories. Yeah, it's another 1,000 with a few accessories. That's pretty nice, man, wow. Ooh, that's a very spongy, uh, soft grip. I bet you got a cup holder somewhere. No, you don't. You got everything but a cup holder, boys. Decent. Good feel to it. Feels extremely wide. I didn't ask, actually, what's the width on these machines. I would like to know that. Don't know if I need the windshield, but... She's pretty soft, that's for sure, man. Cool. Wind zone. Right on. That's about it for the CF Moto. There's their uh, flagship side-by-side -side, Z Force 1000. Basically the same machine we were uh, we were sitting in last year, so we won't waste too much time on that. But very cool. All right, let's go to the BRP. A couple things I missed there yesterday, boys. Check this out. CF Moto comes with a lockout for the gear selector. Isn't that killer? Nice little safety feature. Oh yeah. We got a parking brake. This is a parking brake. Yeah. So you just pull that on out and flip it over. She's stiff. And you can't hit your throttle either. That is genius. That's genius. Miss that. Very cool. It's a little better than leaving it in park on your trailer. It absolutely is. No, no, it's a great feature. That's really cool. It's the only, it's only lights. Your light hookup. A harness right there, boys, so you can hook up your trailer lights. That's something else, man. That's crazy. And they give you the 7 to 4 pin adapter. Yeah, they give you the, yeah. the, the Standard on all units. Yeah, and another year they got a light. That's, that, see, and that's one of the biggest things that you guys are doing right. Can't even not have a freaking uh, trailer hitch thing. This does with the light on it for your trailer plate. No, you mean for your plate. You got a plate and a plate light. Yeah, that's because. I spent $20,000 on a yeah. machine. I got my license yeah. on my tie wraps. Yeah, right. Well, this is what happens when they're developed in Europe and they're road legal over there. So, of course, you have to have all these amenities so it should have a horn as well they do oh yeah of course so you can ride them legally on the highway grandson loves it. Yeah. of course of course yeah full signals forever that's awesome okay we found it we found the can am booth my buddy tyler from bay marine he's around here somewhere too helping the boys out from uh our corporate head office who put on this display but i do notice one thing right under the gate boys we've brought the coolest machines that they show that are available I don't know why BRP did not bring a 1000 XMR, but they did not. But they do have some really cool units here. You got to see. Obviously, the XMR 1000. Well, they did bring one. They, uh, they didn't bring the Renegade. And if you didn't bring the, well, you got to bring the Renegade. But this is a nice machine. I think this is the same color scheme that Keith's young lad Damon's got on his new bike, which is awesome. I really dig it. Looks pretty killer. Little 650. Be perfect for my young lads maybe find one used that tracked unit over there looks pretty killer 1000 and that's can-ams tracks the apaches now those i think you can jump up and down on not maybe too killer these is, got different sets right back country and stuff like that but that is pretty killer man that is a very nice looking a little 850 eh oh yeah she's got the uh can-am with the speaker box that's pretty cool Very cool unit. Link system, what the heck is that? Oh my, that's for putting like an iPad or something, your phone mount or whatever, eh? That's interesting. 16.2, not bad at all. Wow. Them are some tracks, boys, holy moly. Is that like the ones Ken Block was sending it on or what? Can you jump with those babies? 
it's like a full-blown snowmobile track on both sides. Well, yeah, you're right. It is pretty much, eh? Unbelievable. Pretty nice unit, but not as nice as the XRC we're rocking, boys, I tell you. We all like the aluminum doors. Full aluminum skins with the automotive door handle style. But what I just found out the other day is people actually complain because the snow buildup will stick to this t the textured uh, panel, right? So it actually throughout the day just gets thicker and thicker and you got to rub it off. But power windshield, that thing goes up and down by power. That's pretty killer. Although it is made of Lexan, it's not glass. I always, I like those bumpers for sure. Black on black on black. Killer unit, eh, boys? Yes, yes. The XRS. So this one would be a 172 horsepower. That's good to pass too, eh? That's power too. Yeah. It goes up and down by power. Yeah, that's right. But it is the Lexan, right? It's not glass. We are looking at yours, man, over there. Oh, sick. Yes, it is. Unbelievable. You need some of that. No. Do you know how much they want for that light bar? It's like two thousand or three thousand, three thousand dollars in the catalog because it's from Baja. And they're you like the your own, well holy crap yeah, that if for a light bar man you gotta really want that bad you know, put something else cheaper, man. yeah that's what i'm saying looks good right on man <laughs> cool First time. oh he's over there trying to sell himself an xmr boys Here's one of the sleds that we got torn apart over yonder, putting some parts on. Got an exhaust system going on it. Rev chassis MXZ TNT. That uh, is pretty sweet. MXZ XRS. Yeah, that's the exact machine right there. That's pretty cool. We got one of them over at the booth for yanking it apart and throwing some stuff on it right now. Nice. They're very cool looking yeah. sled, eh? Yeah, it's awesome, man. Yeah, it's man. Demo from Bay, and we got Tim still wrapping up parts on her, eh, bud? The pipe's all installed, looking pretty minty. What else have we done to her? Uh, our hand side Yeah, the hand guards are pretty killer. Straight line Y pipe. Straight line Y pipe as well. Uh, straight line clutch kit. Ooh, he even clutched her. She's ready to rock and roll, boys. Should we get a lot more power to the ground now? And then he's got the old map tune there, and you can get an old reflash out of her with that. She's got the bumper on it. Check this out. That looks pretty cool. I like. Oh, it's got an LED strip. That's nice. That's pretty cool. Right on. Killer looking unit, boys. And that's sled life right there. Affiliate of Dirty Life. Check them out online, guys, if you're looking to equip your sled with some STI parts, man. Straight line performance. Pretty killer. That's awesome. Yeah. That's pretty cool, too. I like that color. Love that yeah. line. That's I ride the four stroke that color. It's yeah. Green. Killer unit. Long track like that, too? Uh, 137. 137. Yeah. So that's right, like what? Mid? Yeah. Right, right down the middle, middle, sort of? Yeah. Between? Yeah. Yeah. And then they got the big fun, right? 165. Like Straight up mountain shit. Oh, that's insane. That is insane, yeah. man. Look at that fucking thing. Wow. Come on. Wow, man. Maneuverability must be insane because you're just standing up on the tip right there. That's basically what you're standing on when you got her pinned. Wow, look at that. That is killer looking sled. Oh, I'd rock that one. I choose that one. That's the free ride, eh? Who said they had one of those? Somebody just told me they have one of those. I wonder if it's, it might be, it might be uh, Tyler who's here working for uh, Bay. I really like the color of those Renegades, I'll tell you that. So BRP brought out more sleds than anything because this is primarily a sled show and they're just branching out into the off-road now more than they ever were, so. This year we've seen a lot more ATV and side-by-side -side units here than I've seen in the past previous. Pretty cool. Got the old Elka booth over yonder here. You guys are familiar, stage five, stage four, stage three, we're running on the Renegade. Right on down to uh, the lowest of them, right? Pretty cool. Need a little slide. 
So you got a tiny little Alka suspension on this thing? Exactly. No kidding. Where is it? Right there. Hey, look at how small that little guy is. That's awesome. Tiny front ones too. Very cool. Right on, man. <laughs> I run the stage threes on my Renegade. Yeah. I love them. Yeah. Love them. Yeah. Bay Marine, brother. You could have just showed off and, and, and show this lad how to land that deal. Oh, oh, I just teased me. No. How was your day? Good, man. How are yeah. you? Not too bad. Busy as hell, man. And I wish oh, yeah. the hell I had brought the XRC over to the Dirty Light booth because my feet and my back are killing me. So I should have swapped the Renegade with the MSA guys and taken the XRC over to the Dirty Light booth. And then I could have just had fans jump on the side of the damn thing all day and we could have just shot the shit. Yeah. <laughs> Man. We're going to the casino today. And we just continue making our way through the show, boys. And here are our friends from MSA Off-Road Wheels. And yes, that is our RXC. XRC, rather. Sorry, boys. Turbo RR. What a sweet machine. Check out what we equipped it with here for the show. We got some brand new MSAs on there. I can't remember the name of them damn things now. I think they're the M34s or something like that, but uh, they are super sharp. It's like some little machined edges, very nice. We got ourselves a Moto MTC on there, and they kind of look like a, a bighorn style pattern, but they definitely look like they got a much deeper lug, so they should clear out better and uh, ride real nice, but do really well in the mud when you do get there, right? Check out that bad boy right there, boys. That looks like the wheel that should be on it. That is a Moto Havoc in a 35 by eight and a half, 20. 35 for a 20 inch wheel right there, boys. We might end up doing something like that. That's pretty killer. She fits good or what? See the fat guy coming out of here? Come on now, she fits good, right? The seat goes back far enough for you. I think you lost a card there, fella. What was it? Somebody else lost it while they were sitting in there then? No worries. Yeah, man. No, no. We don't want that on there. Huh? Huh? Right on. She looks good, though. MSA wheels. So, yeah, these are like a big horn pattern. Definitely going to ride really sweet. They got the rounded sight profile. I do believe they're an 8 ply. They kind of look low profiled on the 18-inch uh, wheels, though, right? You know? I'd probably choose that tire with a bit more of a sidewall, so I would go down in a wheel size. Um, if they're available, but these look really cool, man. I would like to run them. I'd love to try them out. I bet you they handle well, these would have been killer for the old uh, MX track. Oh, they're a little more aggressive than you need, though. That's for damn sure. But versus running like a mud tire, they're definitely a, a much better option, right? So, yeah, boys, that's the Maverick XRC, and here is some of our wheels. Check these babies out. Do we got names? No, we don't. That's pretty killer. I wonder if they have the set. So there's the set that we just put on the Renegade. Those are the bandits. They look pretty killer, eh? They look really good on the unit. For sure they do. There's another wheel there. Man. On this side, these are pretty cool, eh? They look quite offset or something like that, though. I like these as well. The four spokes. Very nice. They don't come in a 20, I don't believe. But these do. And these are the Switch, I think they're called. But those are a sexy rim. Very nice. And we're back. And there's my iced tea. She's twisted. What do you think of the bike, guys? Sick. Yes, right on. That's what I was going for. <laughs> oh, it's a lot of fun, man. It's been a lot of fun. Yes. It is nuts, and I got NOS at home. I got a bottle of NOS ready to strap under when I get back to Kingston. Yeah. It's yours? Yeah. 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 this toy hauler boys that is the coolest toy hauler I have ever seen man that's nuts that is a killer man what I wouldn't do to have this baby this is the coolest thing in the whole show intense look at that yeah they are that's killer right on how are you today very well thank you so there it is 2020, I do believe. Kawasaki, what is this called, man? Is it called a Tyrex? What's it called? A K KRX. 
Tyrex KRX 1000. First real chance to take a look at one of these. And I have no idea if I'll ever get the chance to drive one or check them out, but uh, I'm sure it'll happen. One of the boys will pick one up sooner or later, surely. Probably later than sooner though. I don't know many of the boys that are rocking the Kawasaki's in the North of Seven. What do we got there? We got our puke bottle. That's kind of cool, but that'll be dirty and you'll never ever be able to see it. So you might as well have left the whole thing uncovered, I guess. Well, who knows? Let's see. Pretty beefy axles. Got a bit of an arch, so they've got a bit of a clearance day arm there, which is very nice. Sizable rod. Turbo kits obviously on the way for these things, and I think they need it because I I'm not sure uh, horsepower numbers. Horsepower on one of these 112. is 112, right? And they're working on the uh, turbo kits. And that'll bump. Do we know what it's going to bump it to? 200. Two, they're going to take it to 200 with a turbo kit? Oh. Really? Oh, you be coming for me in the XRC, are you? <laughs> uh, I'm going to bump that shit to 250. You wait. <laughs> but I can't wait to see one of these on the trail and maybe even get a chance to check one out. The size of them radius rods. Those are pretty, pretty cool. That's a wild setup, eh? Look at that, boys. Very interesting. I like that better than what I'm dealing with on the Can Amp. I just changed the radius rod on the X3 and it was a pain in the ass. The whole plate came off the back. Oh, your arms start. This tire started going canter while well, I got that one jacked up. I like this design better. We had a guy, we had four guys in the today. Yeah. We build aftermarket axles and all that kind of stuff. Right. And the one guy comes up from underneath it and he says, I don't know what we're going to do because I don't know what we can do to improve on what they already have on this. Oh, thing. that's impressive. That's, that's good that's to hear, right? Like to hear, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but they were five years making it too, so. Yeah, they took, took their, their time. time they took their right. time. So they watched the rest of the industry, yeah. and that's what you do, man. Yeah. And it looks yeah. like they brought out a very capable machine, yeah. and I'm very excited to see them at work. Yeah. What size tires come on these, baby? They, they go with a 30 or a 32? 31. 31s, right in the middle. That's good. That's great. Yeah, also a very nice feature. I mean, you're only getting 30 still on the XMRs and coming with a 15 inch. So what's the wheel? 15s? 15 inch aluminum rim. That's very good. That's awesome. That is awesome. What about the clutching on these? Anything's particular? Like they're not a wet clutch or anything like that on the side by sides. They're straight up CVT. CVT with the central fugal clutch on it. Okay. So the belt is always under tension. Well, that's good. So the nice thing is it has very, very uh, accurate throttle response right. to the machine. You don't get the herky-jerky motion that happens. Yeah, I was watching the guys do the review there uh, with the Kawasaki demo run there, yeah. and that was pretty cool. They picked some really nice terrain, and the engine braking really surprised the shit out of me. Exactly. I was really surprised. That 60 yeah. incline over the rocks yeah. and everything, and it was just no throttle, no brake, yeah. just holding all the way down. Very impressive. Where, too, right? where are they coming in on the MSRP, guys? $26.99. Very compatible. Yeah. That's that's As decent. You see it here with all the goodies, all the features. That's huge right there. That's great. So everything's plumbed up to the box level. CV if you come around the other side, you can see the CVT exhaust. Yeah, exhaust and it's coming. As well. So it is coming out the other side. Yeah. So that side's all your air intake, this side's all your CVT exhaust and intakes. And there's your CVT right here. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's See, about the exact well. same as the XMR too, right? You've got your sight line for your oil. Your I like oil that, I and like also that. your uh, automotive style uh, air for oil filter as well. And that's why, why I like this so much, boys, is because yep. if you do ever get contaminants, you're gonna see it right away. It's no guessing. You're not removing skid plates or anything to check your oil and that's a good positive note, man. I really like that they brought the air intakes up so high. That's awesome. Stainless steel exhaust. Yeah, it looks nice quality for sure. Heavy, so it'll be nice to see some of the aftermarket options there to shed weight, boys. There's going to be all kinds of opportunities to shed weight, too. That's another thing that the aftermarket company is going to come in and start doing. But when you put the turbo to this beast, you ain't going to need to shed any weight with 200 horsepower. I can assure you, you'll be happy that it's beefed up at that point. So that's a pretty cool feature, in my opinion. That box is right on, too, eh? Four little links, pull these bolts, that probably comes up and you have access to the engine. There's also two different accessories that go in here that create a um, rear tailgate piece. Yes. There's also one with a glove box that comes down as well. Yeah, I can see so it's slotted here. In, yeah. yeah, yeah. This will take a 32-inch tire. Yeah. 
So the 32 inch tire will sit in here and there's a rack that you can get so you can have two tires like that. Oh really, eh? Just strap it all down. That's perfect for the Baja race, boys. Or it lifts. Right? Yeah. I think, uh, I think Derek, yes, I think yes, Derek it does. There's one yep. that comes here. And then lifts up, yeah, I like Can-Am has access, one like yeah. that as well, yep, yeah, yeah, it's a very cool feature, awesome. I see they went with a curved roll bar in the back, kind of like the Honda that did with their new units. But it looks awesome, boys. They definitely knocked it out of the park when it comes to the doors. Automotive style, they close really nice, all the latches are nice. It's my biggest complaint on the Can-Am we have is the doors. Storage compartment, nice and high. Looks like it's got, it's got a nice foam rubber seal, so it's going to be actually pretty close to watertight, I bet. Little glove box. That's decent. That's got a good size to it. Deep, right on. Grab our drink. We'll come around the front. There's your access to your radiator, your uh, brake fluid reservoir, obviously. And look at that. You got clickers, eh? That's pretty killer. Fox Performance shocks. That's going to be handy as hell right there. Yeah, that's uh, that's great design right there. That is genius. There's fairly good access to the backside as well. You can get in there way better than you can on my Can-Am. Because really more importantly is to rinse. We like to rinse from the back out yeah, yeah. to try to push it out the same way it came in so you're not wedging shit in there. And uh, I can't get the hose in there for mine. Okay. With this one, I can see lots of lots of hand space to get in there deep enough. This is awesome, though. That's awesome. 4,500 pound winch. Uh, the new VRX uh, from Warren. Yeah. Fits down inside here. We get a, a small uh, fair lead that goes here, so your hook just hangs out, but everything's nice and tucked in. Tucked well. in there nicely. Yeah. Yep. I like that. They did really well, man. They did really well on this design. I can see why they took so much time. He's beefy too. A arms all look nice. I like the, the clearance there. They've arched a bit. What a really nice machine. And they didn't mess around. They went with good good, uh, good suspension. What kind of wheel travel do we know? We'll go 19 inch front, 21 wow. inch rear, and 14 and a half inch of the ground clearance at its, at its lowest. That's point. pretty impressive for the first entry level sport model. Where I'm, Maybe we're not hitting the two foot, but that's huge. That's most. That's more than three quarters of the market, really. 2.5 inch LSC shocks all the way around. Yeah, they work 2. well. 2.5 series, yep. I should say. Yep, yep. What a killer unit. I really appreciate you taking the time to show us uh, some of the features. And man, I just can't get over that. It's gonna be so easy to clean. For us guys, all we do is play in the mud. And that is, that's huge. That's a huge thing. I also liked that I noticed that they textured the, the sides of the seats. So you're not gonna be sliding around in there when you get all slimy and shit. If, also uh, six point harness from Cali as well. There is eight, yep, yep. Feels real nice too though, boys. These seats are really firm. It feels more like the Razor seating position than it does like a Can-Am. You're not laid back quite as much, but what that's gonna do is give you better visibility. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'll be honest, the Can-Am has a rather laid back feel and you don't have the best visibility at all times. But leaning out this, you can see your wheels really nicely. Very nice upright positioning. This I thought was a huge plus. Having an emergency brake is just kind of nice cool. Thing is it only affects the rear. It does, eh? So if you want oh, to get, get out, eh? Want to get a little funky? So the guys that want to put in the drift sticks and stuff like that, it's going to be a lot easier to equip on this machine yeah. right out of the box. That's cool. A little so water bottle. Wheel travel front and rear. So you got two drink holders there, two in the middle. Oh, you do, one too. Here. <laughs> You're going to stay hydrated. That's pretty cool. Speaker cutouts ready to go to install speakers yeah. in your doors. So there's a, two, so a five speaker system. There's a speaker behind your ear here. Okay. A speaker in the door. Yeah. And they've got a subwoofer that goes in the back here. Awesome. Awesome. The uh, head unit fits into here. It's by Hyphonics. They've done a pro project with Kawasaki, Bluetooth with all the gloves, you know, gloves on or whatever. Yeah. Easy yeah. touch controls for everything else. Oh, that's going to be killer. That is going to be awesome. They went with the key, no push button, the old school. You don't need to. It's funny. I've I've talked about this many times on many different models and bikes and the players still keep the key and if it ain't broke don't fix it this was the better way to go having the little toggles that can get knocked off and i have seen my can-am keys gone missing in the skid plate where'd it go 25 minutes later freaking out oh there it is thank yeah. god you know so if it ain't broke don't fix it i like the simple engineering the key design that's great you got your what is this we got low this range low power, low power mode so okay. when you're getting into the really nasty stuff, doing some rock crawling, whatever, okay. you can engage the low power mode. Okay. 
and it just softens everything up yep. enough to really allow you to focus on that really extreme terrain. Okay, that's so very you cool. Get out of it, flick it back. This is your two wheel, yep. four wheel, and, and then four wheel lock. Diff lock, so she's got diff lock. Wheels, that's great. So all four wheels are driving. Yeah, they took lessons there. They didn't waste their time with some sort of slip system like uh, Can-Am did. They went right straight for the electric locker. So very slick, very smart. Can't get over, I love these doors. I love these doors. I said it on the XX, on the Textron model when they did the doors on that, and these feel just as good. Actually, they feel great. They feel great. Awesome, man. Right on, well, thanks again. Cool, thank you. Look for us on YouTube, my friend, on ATV, and uh, right on. All Cheers, right, thank thanks, guys. That, my friends, is a pretty cool unit. I'm, I'm digging it. I'm digging the Cowie. What do we got next? We got Suzuki dead ahead. Check it out. And these boys brought a fleet of King Quads this year. I think last year we might have had a couple models out here, but this year the boys are rocking just about every color and every model they have. Never been a fan of that color red. Sorry, boys. Camel's looking pretty badass for the hunting bike. A little 500 here. She's a worker. Oh, look at this. They're still rocking the matte black 750 AXI. I don't really know all the changes they've done. I haven't been following Suzuki as close this year. <laughs> That's pretty cool though. A little light bar with the Suzuki written on it. I do like this whole bumper concept. That's awesome. So she bolts right up to the, she's gotta be a Suzuki, uh, Suzuki add-on for sure, but it's a definite. If you've got a King Quad, this is killer. That is awesome. That looks pretty killer too. It's funny though, the way they shaped them here, you'd almost think there would be a light right there. But everything's in the center still. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. I started our YouTube channel on one of these things. I used to rock a little 450, built the shit out of it, and uh, ended up with about 10 or 12,000 followers, and then I ended up uh, kind of writing it off. Took the insurance, put a payment down on a brand new Renegade. And two what, years what later. What 450 did you have? King Quad. The AXI. Yeah. Yeah, it was right. a great little bike. I put a two-inch lift on, 28-inch tires. Yeah. Clutch kit, wet wet clutch and all that shit, and uh, I kept up to all the boys in the big 1000s, no problem, went everywhere they did. It was a great bike, really great bike. I'm loving the new bumpers front and back, boys. You're gonna have to add them to the package, but they're super slick looking. And the back one looks nice too. That's probably my favorite model in color, man. It's kind of got that copper bronze tinge to it. Not a lot of changes in the 2020s though, boys. I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So, but she looks mint, eh? All right, don't tell nobody, but we're in the Polaris booth, all right? Oh, there's what I'm looking for, right there. That is the 55-inch fat beast. Wow. wild and gnarly. What's going on with that boot, boys? Jeez. Clearance, man. I wonder if that is longer than the max. That is nuts. Wow, so they do have their own type of forward arch styled A-arm design. That's intense. Who's peeping in on it? Look at that, boys. That is some wide mamma jamma right there. What size we got on there? We got 27 on the back of the boat. What do you got there? Three and a half inches to spare. So an inch side, you can go up to, oh, definitely probably a 32, I would bet. I would bet this thing should accommodate a 32. Look at the front though, my God. There's room for days up front for large tires. That's unfreaking believable. You're going to see some seriously jacked up Polaris's this year. With all that clearance for tires, this thing is long and wide, super wide, 55 inches. They changed a lot this year, but it's pretty cool. I bet you it's soft as a pillow like all Polaris's. Nope, it is not the same at all. 
This thing feels way more planted, less pillowy. I love that feature. Check that out, boys. They're right there. They're the only ones that do that. Look at that gauge. This is a pretty cool looking unit. I wonder if we can get the gauge to fire. No key, so you won't. Feels like a throttle cable. There's a lot of weight on that. I don't like where they put that. Right at your knee. You could probably knock this thing out of gear with your knee when you get slammed. This all looks awesome. There's no doubt about it. It's a crazy machine. Cool, man. Well, Phil's actually at a dealer today talking about trading in the wife's machine, but I think he's looking at the Scrammy. And I don't know that they brought one, but this sportsman looks killer. Just wild. A couple snow bikes. Very cool. Do we have any scramblers? If we don't, we're just going to carry right on. We don't. But we do have a Pro XP. Check this thing out. Wild. Those doors are wild, man. Look at the big gap there, though. Why do that? Why not close that up? Look at these carnivores. Yeah, carnivores. Equipped with a 30 inch tire, a 14 inch rim, no bead locks. I guess pretty standard for a sport machine like this. Let's check out the cockpit. She got a cup holder, so we'll set that there. She got no handle on the outside, so you're gonna have to go in and where is she, boys? Right there. Not so bad, really. Still better than the Can Am I'm driving, as far as latching. Oh, and the Can Am, you gotta put belts on it. Hey? And the Can Am, you gotta put belts on it. Trust me, when you, uh, no, I got, I got four points on mine. No, you gotta put belts. I, kept, I couldn't keep a belt on my I've car. never blown a belt on any of the Mavericks, and I'm running 205 horsepower in the last one. Oh, for the stage three. Oh, you have to come riding with us then. No, 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 no. You gotta know when to let off, my man. Ah, that's awesome, man. She's super plain. Look at this. This is very simple, but you can get a package and a big old screen and everything here. This thing looks really futuristic. You got some buttons and stuff here, so this is obviously a super base model. They bow these out, eh? So they give you a little bit of flex room there. Okay, just on the ground. So I got one right over here. And Tyler Phillips, all the way to the Facebook Live sponsors. This is a little better, right? Just like that. Sure. She's got an awful lot of spots for switches and, and such. Don't like a, I don't know if I like these tabs, how they stick out like that. I don't know, man. Totally undecided, to be honest with you. Totally undecided on this unit. I guess it's all going to depend on what it drives like. It feels pretty good. The seats aren't too bad. I like the seating position better than I do on the older Razors. I feel like there's definitely been some changes there. You're still upright, but I look forward to trying it out, man. What do we got? Storage? Yeah. Yeah, just like that. Door handles. We got the inside latch, just like that. Not as good as the Cowie. No, the Kawasaki blows it away in the door latch. But still not too bad. Oh yeah, they mean serious business, bud. We're talking like two feet of travel. Well, actually, I don't know if there's two feet of travel in this one. There isn't the one I'm driving, though. Oh, God. They're just like trophy trucks. <laughs> Unbelievable. Raptor, so we a... You got a Ford Raptor? That's a sweet-ass rig. Very nice. Yeah. She's nice, man. She's a nice unit. I don't think this one is dynamic. No, she's got the Walker Evans on this one, but uh, nevertheless, she's a sweet unit. It could be rocking a bigger tire, that's for damn sure. I think we went with a, what did it say, a 30? Oh no, I guess that's right on par with everybody else, but it just looks so small with all this clearance. So, Claris boys be having fun throwing 35s on 20s on these things, that's for sure. Killer looking. Cool. Check that bad boy out. That is the decal package. That looks killer, boys. Good job on the old 700 Kodiak. Love it. Again, really not much to talk about. Not much for changes in the market this year, man. Everybody's kind of holding back. 
it's almost like everybody wants to see who's going to be first to make the big change. And Polaris just went and took the jump. Once again, leading the way. Experiment with 55 inch wide, which is pretty cool. Wow, what a cool looking machine, eh? Special edition, man. That looks awesome. Yeah, it does, yeah. Love the freaking colors, man. The rims. That is by far the coolest looking YXZ I have seen. Beautiful. No, don't be. No, it's all good. You're part of the show. You're part of the show. That's the nicest looking YXZ I've seen. Oh, yeah. It's nice. It is really nice. Oh, I like the buttons. See? Look at that. That's attention to detail right there. They put a quality feel and a nice design on them. They could just go simple with some stupid old black rubberized button. No. No. no let's make it look cool too, eh? Yeah. I got to give Yamaha props. When it comes to styling, they knock it out of the park. Absolutely. You're going to feel cool as shit in this machine. Both do pretty good. They texturized too. Yeah, Kawasaki did that too. I noticed in their unit. Okay. And it's just to keep you from, because when you get mud and splash and wet, you start sliding around your seat. You don't want to slide when you're yeah. driving. You like to be planted, right? So that's pretty cool. Not too bad. Beautiful. Very nice, man. Very nice. And we got more special editions here too. We got a special edition Wolverine right there. Check out the Grizzly. Just knocking out special editions this year. So I think major changes for this year is just going to include styling, color packages, trim packages. But no, sadly, you're not getting a twin out of these lads this year. That looks pretty cool. Decent. I like the uh, desert brown camel style colors. That looks pretty killer, man. Who's booth? We got Rockstar. And there's your blue YXC right there. Even decent. How are you, man? Nick. Nick, nice, nice to meet you, you Joe. Yeah. My son here is uh, Kingston. He's wanting to meet, meet you all day. Kingston, that's your name? Yeah. yeah. Where I live is Kingston. That's cool. Tell him about Mud Trail Boys. Uh, we have a YouTube channel. You do? Mud yeah. Trail Boys, eh? Yeah. What do you ride, bud? An uh, Articat C. A 50 cc Articat. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. Dad got you that bike. That's quad, awesome. It. Yeah, were you up on her? You got some pictures? Dad take a picture? Yeah. That's cool, man. Did you get some stickers? No, we if didn't you... get any stickers. Well, then make sure you uh, pass through on the way back through and get some stickers for sure. Yeah, okay, cool. And if I'm not there, just tell him Job said, give me a sticker. <laughs> Is this another one of your little man? Father, son. No, that's my uh, nephew. Oh, right, oh, right on. He's, cool. on. He's part of the Montreal boys, too. Right on. That's Good. awesome, guys. My son is somewhere else here. He's over there. Checking out that special edition uh, YXC. That's the nicest looking YXC I've yeah. ever seen, man. Sweet. I really like the new colors they got going on here. Yeah, yeah they are nice. Actually. I don't think there's any really changes this year in the Andes, no, though. There isn't. Just color and trim style packages, you know. But uh, maybe next year. Maybe next year we'll see some big. What else you So it turns out we're not the only aftermarket power force place here this year, which is kind of cool to see. It's always good to see the industry growing, and this is one killer wrap on this brand new 2020 XMR. Look at that. Badass. You gotta love how they brought the colors on down through. She's a nice unit. She's not quite nice as ours, but she's a nice unit. Check out the speakers on that, and that is what you call a gong show. That's hilarious. You wanna rock out and throw a party? This is the unit for you. The boys threw on some Moto Havocs, a little EFX action there, and some fuel off-road rims. That's killer, man. That's nice. What kind of combination we got here? 33s on a 20. That's a 20-inch fuel, eh? Jeez, they don't look that big when you stay with a smaller tire like that. These do really good at what they're designed to do. Very good. Lightweight, though, eh? So... My tire. I got him. I put him on this so that I could still spin the tire better, right? This should have no problems. Yeah. The clutching in these machines is not like the clutching in those machines. No. They're definitely, you know, they lack in the four-wheeler department, you know, when you put a bigger, heavier tire on them. Yeah. But with the XMR X3 that I had prior to this, it was the 172. 
I reflashed it in 205, put 18 inch wheels, MSAs with a 34 inch Moto Havoc, and didn't feel any loss. Yeah. I mean, we did up the horsepower a little bit, but I expected to maybe have belt issues. We didn't. Never did. So I think the lower reduction in the differentials for the XMR models beneficial for the belt it saves the belts because all my buddies on the the fast machines are ripping through belts like crazy and i think it's just from the sheer speed and the building of the heat right yeah. so i don't know yeah. i've yet to blow a belt on one of these machines and i never blew a belt on my renegade either really? never I once never, yeah. and i'm a I ride, I, I, road hard I, I ride hard i do too the whole nine yards and you just got to give it its time here and there a yes. little break here and there yes. it's all it takes you guys knocked it out on this wrap. Who did your wrap for you? That is killer. You did that? You designed it as well? Yeah. You did a hell of a job, my friend. Thanks. I really like the way you've got it. the show for sure. Buddy, it's it's killer, yeah. I bounced it back and forth with the designer about four times. Yeah. Until we got it to what I liked. Yeah. And then... Did you, you rhino lined the, the, the roof? Actually, that is a new product called Pobox. Okay. And uh, whose they, roof is that? Pro box. That's their roof. That's their roof. Yep. Yeah. Well, that is pretty kick-ass. Yep. Yeah. This flare-up I like too. Yep. Yeah. So this one particular has 800 watts in here. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that powers your four six by nines. Oh and wow! The two yeah, yeah, under yeah. The seats. That's nuts. So two twelves under the seats. You really in. wired this shit for sound and parties, eh? Oh yeah. Holy yeah. shit, buddy. And then the back is a two thousand watt amp yeah. power and four subs going that way and four speakers going this way. That's They're intense. They're double enclosures. Pro box as well. That's awesome, yeah. man. Yeah. So you know what I'm noticing about this roof design right away, and we were just in an X3 the other day with the six inch portal lift and all that. Yep. And when I smashed into the water, buddy was we were catching a wave down the back, back. of the neck. Yeah. Yeah. So he went and curved this up. The guy's already thought of that. That's going to eliminate all that. Yeah, yeah. So Jeff, when you watch this video, brother, I think you might want to accommodate your unit with that roof pro box, eh? I'm going to look them up, brother. That's yeah. awesome. I'm the Canadian dealer for it. You are, eh? Exclu yeah. Exclusively? Yep. Yeah. Smart man. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great product. I really like it. Cool. Great job on the build, man. Thank you. And uh, you guys are unauthorized power sports. Right there, folks. Killer rap, just killer. Just knocked her out, man. It's great choices all the way around. We're about two days doing the rap. Yeah. yeah, no, well, no yeah. doubt, no doubt. A little bit of detail, heat shrink, yep. get, it, get it in the right spots. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like it because you didn't overdo it either. You got no big lift. It's very functional. The thing's going to rip, yeah. rip, yeah. rip. Killer job. We build it for fun. Exactly. Yeah. And, and use, you know what oh, I yeah. mean? Yeah. You, uh, you got a clip over, do you? Just a little bit. Some rock lights in her? Yeah. Right on. It's got to be louder than hell. It's like a rock coffee. Yeah, yeah it is. Oh, that's awesome. And all the subs in the back do the same Still thing. light up as well. Yeah. Holy shit, this is a unit from one national sport. <laughs> okay, totally. Exactly, exactly. Right on, guys. Thanks, eh? Appreciate that. Killer, boys. Killer. Ram.ca. Look at that beauty. Shout out to the boys at Thompson, Jim Thompson Chrysler down at Kingston. Kingston's Ram headquarters. All right, boys, I think we're going to give her a break. We're back to the Dirty Life booth. Chambers unit, sharp looking razor. And there's our Renegade boys. Just like that, right on. Wow, what a day, man. That puts a wrap on day two of the Toronto International ATV and Sled Show, man. This thing has been crazy. What a good time. Can't believe how many folks have come up to visit us. Kids, pictures, all that jazz. I can't thank you guys enough, man. Unbelievable support. Whole eye-opener for sure this year. You know, we go from uh, last year maybe being noticed by the odd person here or there, but this year's just been stupid. It's been crazy fun, man. Wow. I'm gonna need a long nap, but worth every bet. Cheers, boys. Until tomorrow, we'll be back. Hey,
around the garbage room, the garbage room. That wraps up the Toronto International Power Sports Show, boys, for 2019. Now we got to deal with the chaos of the teardown and all the work that comes after. This place is going to be nuts. The amount of trailers, the amount of stuff that's got to get pulled down. We got trucks coming inside. We got bikes and units got to go out side by side. You name it, man. This is going to be intense. So I don't know. We'll probably film some of it anyways. But uh, I really appreciate you guys who have followed along, checked out the Instagram posts along the way, stuff like that. Uh, Let's get into this insanity. Cheers, boys. Like 25, 30 minutes, half these people have folded up and closed up. These guys are pros. They've done this just a few times, eh? We got our work cut out for us. We had quite the elaborate booth. I think it turned out pretty cool, but uh, we'll take a look at the X3 right now and see where we're at. Let's get it out of here. Let's see. Well, we definitely got an aisle, so we're good that way. We'll be back, boys. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Oh yeah, I just got them built on the hand guards. I didn't notice that. That's pretty killer. That looks great. Oh, that's good. We got a shot of it. Yeah. Cool. Good boys. It's time to rock and leave the show. Cool. We got a little sound test here with the new STI exhaust system on there, man. Straight line performance. Let's hear it, Tim. Shit. That's nice. Wow, is that ever nice and like quiet? That's a very nice sounding exhaust. That exhaust so quiet. Is it ever sound nice? So if you don't want to piss off all your neighbors, this is the one, eh? That sounds awesome. Wicked. All right, we'll get this thing parked, boys. Thanks, Tim. We got her all locked and loaded. The Renegade strapped down. We got the sled in there. That concludes the 2019 Toronto International Power Sports Show, boys. She's gonna be a long night getting this rig back to uh, Kingston, but she's worth the work, boys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the show, and we'll talk to you soon. Cheers. Rock on. On the way home, boys. And I, God, I, I hate traffic, and look at this shit, man. Jeez. She's a rat race up here. I don't know how anybody can do it. I just don't, man. I like my ATV in my uh, remote locations. <laughs> That's pretty cool coming up here, man. The show was awesome. And uh, I'll tell you, she's been a long weekend for sure with a lot of hard work from the Dirty Life crew. Uh, Trevor and Lynn, they just knocked it out, man. The killer set up, the whole family involved. Uh, Mom, dad, sister, uh, daughter, and, and, and son. Pretty cool experience, pretty cool to watch it all go down, and uh, pretty cool to be a part of it, boys. But uh, I'm in need of some sustenance, lots of water, a little dehydrated, and uh, some quiet time. <laughs> all right, cheers, guys. Let's get out of this place. We gotta get out of this place. Prepare to keep left onto Highway 401 Express after three kilometers. Hey, I'm prepared as I can be. Cheers.